What's up, people? Congratulations on finishing a book. We finished the duology. If you're like me, you want to jump in onto YouTube. After you finish a book, you jump on YouTube, you jump on uh, Goodreads, whatever, to find out what's going on in this book. And as far as I can tell, nobody knows what the hell is going on with this book. The Soldier of Arete. Arete. A-R-E-T-E. -E, however you pronounce that. And uh, this is going to be full spoilers. If you read it, you understand most of what I said, but I'm going to be rambling. Please, somebody else, make videos about these books. M more educated than I am, who knows something about Greek mythology and deeper meanings and has more time to really dive into this. This is just going to be my quick what the hell happened <laughs> in this book. Full spoilers, though. And, okay, well, before I forget, full spoilers, at the end of this book, you realize that Io has been lied to Latreo and brought in the Amazon as a fake. Uh, I call her, the Amazon that he loved, I call her Fat, P-H-A-T. I'm just abbreviating here. So they bring back Fat as, uh, but it's another Amazon. And they say that they brought her back because, you know, uh, to cheer him up because he's going through a depression. It's after one of the time jumps. But if she's lied to him, you never trust a liar, all right? If they lie to you once, they're gonna, gonna lie to you again. So who knows? It, the only people you can really trust, or so you think, is Seven Lions, the black man, and Io. But Io lied to him because she's in love with him. I also really enjoyed that, uh, I don't think he has sex with Io. Because at the beginning, when he finds the, at the beginning of the book, okay, we're jumping all over the place. At the beginning, he has sex with Eletra, Eltra, however you pronounce her name. And the Huntress punishes him and takes away his sex drive. So he doesn't have sex. And I think Io was just trying to say, oh, I'm her. He, she even tried to seduce him and he didn't have it in him. You know, he couldn't get it up or he didn't have the drive, whatever. Anyways, okay, so we start the book pretty much a couple days after where we left off, where he killed one of his homies. And I didn't even read the book. I go into the books blind. If you read the book, it calls Latreo a Roman mercenary. I didn't get I didn't get any of that that he was from Rome. So I guess he's a Roman mercenary mix. I, I don't know what Rome was doing 439 BC, but they weren't the Roman Empire, right? So that's another question. Anyways. Okay. So we start off at the beginning, we're outside the city where uh, the king or the, the guy who was ruling the city set the trail up and went out the other side of the out, out the back door. But he got caught with his son and they end up stoning his son. But then his son is, oh my God. Yeah. Okay. I'm going all over the place. But then his son comes, visits him and even Io starts seeing him. But there's also a line in here that divinity starts rubbing off. And so I think Io and Seven Lions and all the other, the other cast of characters starts getting Latreo's uh, foresight to seeing the gods. And even, <laughs> okay, yeah, this book. But the main uh, part, the first half of this book is that Latreo, the, the wooden leg man, uh, I, I'll, I call him uh, Hedges, Hedges, and I will have to go to save this uh, engineer who built this big bridge for the Persians. And he, and they get and they and they meet the Amazons on the way. But then that's when, yeah, you don't even think that he's in love with uh, with Fat that much because. Because even when they meet her, she gets injured and she heals. And Io says, why is she healing so fast? And then like two pages later, she gets shot through an arrow and dies. But uh, this book, this book has me just thinking, I'm sorry, I'm going all over the place. But like I said, please, somebody else make a video about this stuff. Explain it to me. But they get, they get trapped in a cave and the king... Eventually, uh, they, they uh, negotiate their way out of the cave and the king betrays them and says, No, Latreo, I heard you're a good warrior and we're going to have a duel. 
But then Latreo and him split up, and as soon as Latreo turns around, the lions start going off the thunder, and the king gets scared, and he gets killed by his own soldier for his own his own soldiers for showing cowardliness. Oh man, yeah. I'm just gonna go through this. Um, oh, and then there's also uh, when when Hedge is, is fortune telling him in the cave. He says, oh yeah, Nike's with you, but she's always behind you, so you wouldn't even see her. You know, she's always behind you. But when he's polishing uh, the other dude's uh, armor, he sees a face in the, in, the, in the armor. So yeah, like there's little details in that if you just pick up, and I'm missing tons of stuff here, guys. I know, I just wanna talk about this book. <laughs> but he also tells him when he's telling his fortune, he tells him don't trust women and don't trust learning men. So, and I think that's the people from Thought because, like I said, they're go I'm going all over the place here. But even Latreo tries to kill uh, the man with the wooden leg, uh, Hedges. Hedges, that's what I'm going to call him, okay? He tries to kill Hedges like two times, once with an, a little knife and uh, it just cuts off and you never hear about it again. And then once he stabs him in the back while he's sleeping and Seven Lions... And Fat has to uh, pull him off of him. But then he's okay again. So I don't even know. I don't even know. But then it's like, uh, oh yeah, maybe he put a spell on you to make you think. Because he also helps him put on his shoes. And he doesn't notice that he has a wooden leg. So he put a spell on him. And that goes back to the lying. What is real? What isn't real? Oh my god, this book. But then you get the story of Hedges too. Where he's telling them how he had how he badmouthed the Spartans and that the guy who pit the uh, I called him T Tis, who told him yeah kill the guy with the wooden leg is actually Hedges' cousin cousin and they're both from Sparta, and Hedges got kind of banished I guess because and got tracked down and brought back and put in chains and they gave him a knife to okay you're gonna have to kill yourself the only honorable way but he just cuts off his leg and escapes that's pretty yeah. But then this whole time, this rider with a lion or a dog is following them. And then the little boy in the, in, in the, in the first half, out of nowhere, uh, you know, he has Io with him. And then Io, he instead, of, he says the children. And you're like, wait, there's multiple children now? And then that's when you meet Pios. But then the king's son who got stoned to death also comes back. And he also has a flashback where he tries to save the king, not the king, I guess he was the guy who took over the city and the son. And he tried to save them and he got, uh, I can't remember why he didn't get saved, but he's like, no, no. But then the little boy comes back to him as a ghost. And then there was that whole scene where the ghost, they, uh, they're sleeping in the farmhouse and somebody knocks on the door and it's the ghost. And then the other, the woman or the father comes with the body and it's his ghost and he's not there. Oh, just all over the place. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh man, and then Syphilis, uh, Syphysis, Syphysis, the guy who has to push up the rock, he shows up here and Latreo helps him push the rock up there, but that causes like an earthquake when Seven Lion, yeah, when Seven Lion gets married to the Babylonian woman. This is crazy. Crazy, crazy. I'm going all over the place here. Yeah, and then, yeah, okay, and then um, Hype, the ship captain, he gets, he gets kidnapped by another uh, governor. And he gets saved when Latreo goes in there and he sees the boar. <laughs> and all of a sudden this boar that's like as tall as a man comes out of nowhere and then the dogs are there. Yeah, this isn't going to be a very good review. I'm so sorry, but there's so many things in this book. And just everything. Even, okay, the mind, um, when he goes back, when he eventually gets back to thought, and there's the guy there that's trying to, okay, I can help you get back your memory by, uh, you got, got to build your mind palace. And then he meets Gaia, who's a sphinx, a sphinx in the form of a sphinx, and she starts riddling him about how the earth is formed. And even earlier in the book, he was talking about how Right at the beginning of the book, matter of fact, he says that he sees the sun, but he sees it as a chariot. 
and how, hey, well, if it's going full speed, it's not stopping, so maybe it's going all around the Earth, and he's figuring out that the Earth is round. <sighs> what a book. But then, Gaia is also the one who took his memory, and when, when uh, at the end of the last book, when they called him Lucius, I think, that means wolf in Italian, I found out. So, so he's a wolf. And I, I, and I also think, okay, this is my theory. I think he's uh, the Mars. He's the, the, uh, the god of war. Because even when the boar was there, they tell him like, oh no, you're, you're this, uh, you're, you, you're the incarnation of uh, whatever they called him. They, they have different names for the gods, but they're all the same gods. And th there's also the, when they're watching a play, and they're talking about their masks that they wear. And they have faces, different faces, depending on what angle you see. And in the first book, that's what they were talking about, that the same god is the three gods in, like, you, uh, the god of many names, the god of many faces kind of thing. Where these people are, are giving different names to the same god. And I think that has to do with it. Because the huntress and the moon god, the moon god got mentioned in here too. Oh my god. But yeah, uh, oh, the, and then yeah, okay, so the boy is following them. And you think that the boy, I, they were telling the story about the woman, the king, who, cut out, who had sex with the woman, cut out her tongue, but then she made like a dress to tell the queen. And then so the queen and the woman who got raped killed the son. So that, I thought that was the boy. But maybe it was the boy was also the one who got stoned. Layers and layers and layers of unreliable narrator and what's going on and trying to piece it together. You could tell, yeah. And then how, uh, okay. <laughs> and then when Latreo is uh, back in Sparta and he sees Leonidas's, the 300 Leonidas, he sees his armor and his gown and everything. And he's describing how he killed him. Latreo killed Leonidas. Because I, I forgot to mention this in my last review, because that, uh, yeah, when he had his flashback, he fought uh, Leonidas, and he got past him, and he threw his spear, or he came at him behind. So I guess he was the one who killed him, and he killed him while he was on the ground and speared him to death. So Latreo is the one who killed Leonidas from 300. And he's like, how do I know this? But he didn't have his flashback then. It was great. I really love this book. I just wish I, just wish I knew all the answers. But even, yeah, uh, some people, they get like real deep dives into it. And they were talking about the mind castle, about how, because there's also, because the next book has to do with Egypt. And they were saying one of the Sphinx had a head of a crocodile. And in the last book, when he got thrown into the river, they, there was a uh, quotes or uh, text about crocodiles. And yeah, uh, the crocodile, the god of the crocodile, in Egypt, the, the god of war has a crocodile head, is what the review said, at least. So, somehow Egypt is in here. I'm thinking that the next book is going to be like Earth of the New Sun. If you ever read the book of the New Sun, Earth of the New Sun is just a very dumbed-down version of what happened in the book of the New Sun. So, I'm hoping for that. Let me see what else I could have. Okay. And then they were saying, why was, uh, why did Latreo get, because even at the beginning of the book, Gene Wolf, the guy who found, who finds the scrolls, he says, yeah, this second scroll is really damaged. So there are weeks that got taken out, you know, because, uh, this is an interpretation of an ancient scroll that he found. And the scroll was so messed up that I can't, I can't, you know, you can't do nothing with it. So by the time they get to the Olympics, okay, oh no, I'm, I'm skipping this. In Sparta, he gets freed. But I guess there's a big old massacre that's led, that's led by uh, the one-armed the one dude from the first book, Pass, when Latreo cut off his arm, and he's acting all cool and everything, but you still don't trust him. But then in the end, he's, when they're at the Olympics, <laughs> he trusts him. And they also, well, okay, well, okay. Polos, the boy that's there with them now, one of his other slaves that came out of nowhere, he, uh, it, it's subtext that Pass raped him. Like, uh, he, uh, 
Yeah, he raped him. But then when they get to the Olympics, they say that Pass and Latreo is sharing him, but Io is his, is his woman. And then it's like, okay, so, but, but there's also, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think Latreo would, would uh, rape a little boy. And I don't, I don't know. Yeah. But they say, uh, one of the reviews I saw was that that was why he was in such a depression. Because with uh, Pass, uh, the guy with one arm, somehow tricked Latreo into thinking that he was gay and has sex with him and has sex with a little boy. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't read that in there, but that's what one of the reviews said. Yeah, there was also the Goat Man. I don't know where that came from. Even Latreo was right. Oh, why? He just because he just wrote the Goat Man told me that I can't remember the name, but that was also it, it implied. I thought that Pay Pay Palos was what the Goat Man was talking about. But then Latreo was like the next the next chapter. He's like, why did I just put the Goat Man? I should have put more details. He does that twice in here when he says I need to take better notes. Instead of uh, the things I see, I have to uh, write what ha actually happened. Because he's just giving you everything here. But then, okay, in the, uh, I'm all over the place. Eletra, Eltra, however you pronounce her name is, she finds him again and tells Latreo, hey, you got to take care of the tree. I have your seed. So he has sex with her in the beginning. Is she pregnant with Latreo's son? They never really go back to that. Uh, she is there and okay and then even at the very end of the book there's that woman uh the dancer a sign in a y s a sign whatever her name and she's like no i'm the one who loves you she comes out of nowhere but was was it io who was keeping her a secret or oh, i i don't know i don't know she these that's what's so tricky about this book is that characters just come in and out because again uh, you know, Latreo doesn't have his memory. So he's t when he writes somebody's name down, he's talking about it like, oh yeah, I knew this guy my whole life, but he's came, he came out of nowhere. Uh, some of these names. And I'm going all over the place, but I think this is about as good as it's going to get. Let's see. Uh, yeah, the Olympics scenes were uh, pretty good. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect it to end in the Olympics. Okay, well, the, the real ending, the real ending... Somehow, uh, one of the kings or one of the governors or whatever they call them, senators uh, from uh, Sparta, has his boat stolen from the uh, the Riverlands, I think it was, or what is it? the Crimson Men? That's what it was. The Crimson Men. And see, at the beginning of the book, or somewhere in there, he meets some of the Crimson Men, which I guess are supposed to be Roman, and he starts talking to them in the native language. And they, and even Io was like, how do you know that language? He's like, I don't know, you know, the, uh, the Crimson Men. But the Crimson Men steal a boat of treasure from one of the Spartans' governors, whatever he is, and they get trapped off, off the coast or something. And while while uh, they get Latreo, he's he enters the Olympic as a chariot racer. But it's the same chariot that he found in the cave where the gods saw him, the silver chariot, I think they called it, uh, the golden chariot or the silver chariot. And if I read it right, it said that he let the horses loose. He let the horses lo loose and the chariot just went off and he ran off eventually i think he did like a little war with them because they were trying to get the amazons to help him the, the spartans were trying to get the amazons to help get latreo but eventually he makes his escape and artemis is there with him and that's how the book ends he just leaves he leaves io he leaves his scrolls he just leaves everything oh what a book oh i'm all over the place here guys i'm sorry i shouldn't be sorry somebody else should make a better uh a better one of this Let's see what else I can put up to my notes. Okay. Also, the black man, when he's, he, uh, at one point, he's talking about the black man's sword and the Amazon swords. And he says, hey, these are a lot like my sword. They're, uh, the, the black guy's sword and the Amazon swords are like my swords. And his sword was a gift from the river god, which when he helped syphilis, uh, syphilis, I keep on calling him syphysis, however you pronounce his name, he tells him, hey, you know the river god, don't you? Yeah, just like subtext and subtext. There's also, 
Yeah, a ghost boy warns him about the Kermit soldiers. And somebody's review said that the Kermit is like slang for the Egyptians too. So yeah, the Egyptians are uh, mixed up in here somehow. Mmm, what a book. <laughs> uh, let's see what else I got here. I, uh... Yeah, it was uh, pass. He he, uh, he he joins the Olympics as a runner, and he loses all his his uh, his events. That was surprising. But then the Spartans were saying that they needed to win at least one event, one event, and do well in the others to uh, keep face with everybody else. And they didn't win any. And it. Somewhere in the in the in this whole book, they were saying one of the prophecies was that in order to help the goddess, you have to lose. And so, the goddess wanted Sparta Sparta to lose. I'm guessing, or yeah, yeah. This is book is, this is all over the place. I'm I'm all over the place with this review, but I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved all of it. Yeah, and then when they killed all the slave, when they were freeing all the slaves, and they killed them all, I guess. And it just cuts off too, because so you know you don't really know what goes on. But like I said, uh, it's implied that they killed all the freed, all the slaves that they freed, they killed, and they spared Latreo. And then that's another reason why somebody said in the reviews that maybe Latreo had a survivor's remorse because he was the only slave that was freed that survived. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going along with it for the ride. I really loved it. I hope you guys loved it. I don't want to miss anything because I know I'm going to miss something. I have a whole bunch of notes here. <laughs> well, I was really just trying to keep up with it. Yeah. Hmm. And uh, from what I could get from the, from what I could get from the reviews, even the next book, you don't even know. It's, it's not, it's not Latreo. You just think it's Latreo. But you never find out who it is. I don't know if that's a spoiler or not, but I don't think there. I don't know if we're gonna get answers in the next book. I really don't know. I really don't know. Who knows? Who knows? I I enjoyed the ride though. The subtext, trying to fill in the blanks, trying to figure out the puzzle. All of Gene Wolfe's books are a puzzle that I'm just enjoying, trying to figure out. A lot of it's over my head, duh. But I think that's half the fun, trying to look up, try, trying to figure it out, look at other people's reviews, other people's thoughts. Yeah, I don't know. That's how we're just going to leave it. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, thank you for pitting up with my rants and what I think or what I thought I'm trying to figure out. But, and then, if, and it's, so, anyways, all right. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Keep on keeping on.